learning a lot about our feelings and emotions. And we know that there's a lot of different kinds. Excited, happy, sad, angry. But to truly help ourselves, we need to stop and name our feelings. By stopping to identify and name our feelings, we can get to the root of the problem because feelings can be confusing. Feelings often start in our body. Those weird pains or feelings can start in our stomachs, chest, head, even your cheeks. We then start to show these emotions and feelings physically with our facial expressions. This girl is clearly experiencing a lot of feelings and emotions, and it can be really frustrating to not know why. Maybe she's sad or mad, scared or upset. She just needs to take a moment, stop, and name her feelings. Once you take a moment to stop and identify your feelings, you can figure out why you're feeling that way. Now she knows that she's upset, and now she can figure out what caused her to be upset. Even in the animal kingdom, different animals vocalize to communicate their feelings. One in particular loves to communicate, dolphins. Let's learn how they stop and name their feelings. Dolphins are mammals, and there are about 40 different species found throughout the world, many of which live in shallow, warm waters in the ocean, but five species live in the river. And yes, killer whales, or orcas, are actually dolphins. Dolphins are extremely intelligent creatures. They're very social and live in groups called pods. So it's very important that they communicate with each other to help when it comes to hunting or danger. Take a listen to a dolphin using his click to communicate to his pod. Dolphins communicate with a series of clicks or whistles made by an organ through their blowhole. So let's play a game. We're going to play a dolphin call and you see if you can guess what emotion or feeling the dolphin is having. Were you able to guess what feeling that dolphin was communicating? If you guess angry, you're correct. dolphin angry, sad, happy, or upset? Clearly he was happy.
draw a dolphin trying to talk to you. What emotion is a dolphin feeling? In the video, think about what the dolphin that was upset because the human was mocking him. Do you think that animals truly have feelings the same way that humans do?